Lord Jones. Tell me why the force at the Centre for Advanced Health Engineering at the University of Bolton is so special. Well, Gordon, you only have to look around you to see the sort of material that the students are working with. Look at this LMP3 car, the LMP, the D55 there are functions, the Minetta factory is continuous, and students will have an opportunity on the, on the racetrack, in the pit, with these type of vehicles, as well as on their course, and can practice in their third test field. So, you're in the two ready on you. And I'll cut that at this very moment. There's a 24 hour endurance race out in Dubai. The university has a car racing there, and in the pits, working on that car are university students. Absolutely, they get a chance to travel out internationally. They get a chance. I was in Italy in Imola with them when they won the, uh, the, uh, the race there. Um, students are uh, very much involved in the delivery of the actual racing team on the track. That's what makes this course, this course very, very different. It's all about being on the track with a racing team, being industry ready. Okay, so the main difference is vision. You haven't got that crystal vision that you have in the day, so we really rely heavily on our on our light. All the cars have got extra strong lights on it. The worst thing is is if you're blinded in the mirror, so you've just got to pick your line and stay on your line and let the cars go around you and keep consistent at night. It, it isn't easy. I have done it before, but this is my first flying 24 hour night race. I'm loving it. I will be out at night and again, let's hope we can maintain position and stay out of it. They play a crucial part in our pit stops. They've all got legislative controls uh, this weekend. They will be up for 24 hours, but we will be the more of them. And it's great to see, you know, students that are top level motorsport, especially if talking about this, this student race by 24 hours. I don't think you get a better experience than this, and that's why I'm I'm proud to be a gold university, we're doing great things. Okay, we, we leave it there, and uh, good luck for the rest of the race, and we'll be looking forward to the results at 10 o'clock our time tomorrow morning. Uh, live from Dubai, and if it is, uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, guys. Bye. 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 So we're really maximising that approach. We've got a dynamic triple high space for the cars. Um, they're being presented on both grounds and upper levels and frames really dramatically with this beautiful textural metal motion. So when you're commissioned to go up this uh, fantastic building, how do you actually go about it? What from the beginning? When you're first approached, what do you have to do? Well, we've been working really closely with guys from the United States. Uh, we've seen the spaces and um, the idea was that we had a, a boulevard of working spaces and then parallel to that with the and we've been exploring the kind of concept of the body of the car so it's all about the unifying skin that pulls and just, just about touches the floor and then lifts and reveals what's inside the behind the scenes of the advanced engineering and home making of the car so the skin will lift Reveal, reveal the showroom and reveal the working space as well, which I think is always, if not more important, the action of the uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you are near the uh, University of Bolton stand, uh, if you look around, you might sort of see me waving here. Uh, if you'd like to come towards the stand, you can share in a, in a fantastic moment for us all here. The University of Bolton stand which has uh, the blue top to it, uh, blue and yellow. Uh, and we are watching live on the big screen there uh, the 24 hour race in Dubai. Our cars are uh, you're, you're looking at the car and uh, we are following this, the University of Bunker hey. um, with its partner racing team, Century Motorsport, are uh, driving in that race. It began at 10 o'clock yesterday morning. It's now the last five minutes of this 24 hour race. 
And we are delighted to say that uh, the University and Safety Motorsport Car is leading in its class. So we are very close now to finishing first in our class and being at the top of the podium. And the class wins. Also with the Ginetta G55 GT4, you know who you are. La Pierre for Century Motorsport. Let's have a break and have a listen. Here come the winning team in, in second place there in the blue uh, outfit is Anna Valeska, the University of Bolton driver. Uh, one of the only two women drivers in the race. She drove it across the line to victory. So Anna Valeska in the middle of the blue there. The University of Bolton team with Century Motors. Driven 24 hour endurance race, driven to victory in Dubai. These are live pictures from the podium. Uh, we have the champagne here on our stand, which we're pouring. Sadly, not for everybody. Uh, but we're celebrating with our team as they're top of the podium. The University of Bolton and Century Motorsport.